Um, actually, Campus Kitchen is something that has been done for a few years. There's 22 locations. Uh, basically, we recover food from different places around the community, in Portage County, specifically in Kent. Um, and then we take the food and we actually create meals for the people at the Kent Social Services in Portage County. So it's basically for people that are hungry in Portage County. This is the bake shop, okay? This is the full service commissary bake shop that they have on campus. So those of you that are eating, you know, anything on campus, the muffins, the different things for the Starbucks or the different concepts, most of it comes here. This is a large sheeter. If you ever make Danish, okay, Danish is a yeast dough. It's a laminated dough. You're not gonna pull out a rolling pin and roll out hundreds and hundreds of Danish. You're gonna have a machine that does it for you. What we're gonna be preparing each week would be a hot entree, a vegetable, uh, and a tossed salad, and maybe a starch. The trick is gonna be, once we get food in, what are we gonna do with it? The magic is going to be turning that into something different. You don't wanna just get, if we have 36 roast chickens come in, we don't just wanna turn them the next day as roast chicken. Okay, we can turn them, we can pick the meat, turn it into chicken pot pie, chicken cacciatore, things like that. Chamber here, fills with steam, whatever you make in here will work. When we make our beef stew, this is the thing we're gonna use. But let's say they're gonna make chicken soup, they're gonna make it here instead of having chicken soup made in three different spots across campus. So they make it here, you know, I don't know, these hold about 75 gallons a piece, okay, a lot of soup. As we get food items, we're gonna have to determine how do we store it or how are we going to use it? And that's really the expertise that I'll share with the students. And then once we're actually cooking on Wednesdays, we need a professional person in here to oversee the safety. Because this is going out and being served just like a restaurant, so we have to ensure the safe food handling. So let's say if I have tossed salad and ham and cheese sandwich and I'm thawing out chicken for the next day. See where the scenario is going? Right. So I go in there, I put my chicken my pan of chicken that's dripping all over the place, I put it right over the uh, tub of lettuce that we're gonna use for the salad. How gross is that? What's happening? That chicken blood is dripping right into the lettuce that we're gonna serve for the salad tomorrow. Cross-contamination, right? We have a large cooler in there. We could put vegetables on one, meats on another. But if you don't have that, you have to do a hierarchy. Potentially hazardous food, chickens, meats, raw foods on the bottom, okay? Cooked proteins next, okay? Then you get into lunch meats and like fruits and vegetables on the top. Nothing's gonna fall on the salad if it's up on top, right? I definitely learned a lot about the different equipment that we have and stuff like that. So this is definitely a good learning experience for me because I didn't know how to cook when I moved out. I didn't know anything about that. So this is definitely a good life experience as well as something that I can take with me when looking for jobs when I graduate. Uh, you're picking up the uh, a free degree here in regards to some basic uh, cooking things. All right, so that's good for you. You get an opportunity to do that. Uh, and then once we're done with that, once we actually get through the first week, every Wednesday we will be doing, we will be cooking. But the other component that needs to come online and where we're going to need assistance is uh, the food recovery and outreach, getting donations from people. Okay, and then once they do have food, we got to go get it. After I graduate, I really do hope I can work within Campus Kitchen still. Um, in D.C., the Central Kitchen, uh, where Robert Egger started it, I actually want to be a part of that if I can, because I really enjoy nonprofits. So I hope that after I graduate, I can take what I learned from this and move on. It's been an honor to be here at Kent State, and I urge all of you to consider becoming actively involved with the up-and-coming Campus Kitchen, a program that gives you the power to use a glory <clears throat> facility, which Chef Ed showed us this morning. This can be your laboratory. This is where you can take some of the ideas we talked about it and make it manifest right here in this great town.